Last time on Dangen My Rumpa. So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necrocomicon. No! No! We are not reading the book written by the mad Arab and apparently inspired by Lucifer himself. Bad Kumas! Very bad Kumas! By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. No! Bad boys! That's right! Huh? Angie approached Gonzo with her usual white smile and. No! <laughs> no, Gonta! No! Do not cross over to the dark side! <gasps> no! You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. No, Gonta! Do not fall for the power of boobs! Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Boobs are just fat, Gonta! I know this because Atua is always watching you. No, Gonta, do not fall for it! Always watching? Gonta? God damn indoctrination! Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Quick, someone kill Angie! Maki, do something! Throw a knife! Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. She's a grandmother now? I thought she was a weird old grandfather that likes young girls in skirts. Grandmas are nice. Damn it! This is from the morning after. Fuck it, I give up. I give it up, you bastards. Alright, I give up. I give up. I'm done. I'm done. I've tried my best. So, Oma, do you remember what happened last night with your ass? Shuichi. Good morning, Shuichi. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Are you heading to the dining hall? Same here. I'm too hungry to do anything. But now I'm sad. With Kurumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. I'd give anything to taste mom's miso soup again. No. Uh, Kirum is not your mother though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You think I don't know that? All right. See ya. Little bastard. Uh, can I see where Maki is? Because now we're like buddy buddy and she gave me panties. So, Ooh, oh shit. Those two are outside. It seems that like everyone that had, you know, their way with Shuichi is waiting outside for her. Let's see what's going on here. There's some good shit right here. So Maki, you remember what happened last night? Maki. Ah, good morning, Maki. Hey. You okay? Huh? Yeah, what do you mean? Nope. If you don't know, then don't worry about it. Holy shit, she remembers. No. Well, if you say it like that, it makes me worried. Well. I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime anymore. Huh? Why? It's not breaking the rules, is it? Okay. They said it's because Kurumi committed a crime during nighttime. <sighs> and then Angie gave her usual Atua says speech. Atua. Well. We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. Marky, please don't do anything. That's true. We should do something about this. With the student council running things like this, a rift might form in the group. Then we'll be in a situation we can't go back from. And resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. Marky, don't go killing anyone, please. I know you can, and I know you're itching to kill Angie, but, you know, please don't. So do you remember what happened last night? Oh. Good morning, Kyo. Hello. Morning. Are you going to have breakfast as well? Okay. Yeah, are you coming? Yes. Indeed. I also intend to do some research and organize my lab today. If you are able, can I request your assistance? Hey! Organizing your lab with all that stuff in the bookcase? It must be hard. However... Oh, not at all. The bookcase is a mountain of treasures. I found things besides the cage dog village documents that detail other seances. But the ones I am interested in is, of course, the caged child. The seance again. Listen... In any case, I would like to sort my various documents. Well, will you assist me? Uh, yeah, sure, okay. if I have time. Yes. Excellent. Please drop by at your earliest convenience. Well then. Kyo has been talking a lot about seances lately. He's obsessed with them. Okay. Well, let's just get our ass in there. Mew, do you remember what happened last night? Mew. Ah, oh, Mew, good morning. What was that? The uh, hell is all this morning chatter about? I'm fucking tired. Um. Did you stay up all night with the computer? Because <laughs> that thing is amazing. I get more research it. The more, wait, the more I research it, the more excited I get. So good! 
Ah, I bet he won't let me sleep tonight. At this rate, I might pull all my groin muscles. <laughs> what the? Okay. Mew, what happened to you? It has a like vibrating function, doesn't it? It's got it like a, it's got like a dildo thing, like a dildo mechanism. You know? Wait, what? Oh yeah, they're on the dirty floor. I, I keep forgetting that this was an episode about, you know, uh, love hotels. Okay. What the hell's he over here? The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you want. Huh? But I have a tour's blessing. That's right. Yeah, we have a tour's blessing, and I'll throw any degenerates who won't shut up about it. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far, yes? No. As we've said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. Great, we've got a Hitler situation. What on earth's going on? Marky? Got a minute? Go and stop Kaito. Yelling at each other won't get anything done. Here. Listen. Reliance on a god is unavoidable, but dependence is problematic. Dependence is a trait of one with a corrupt mind. The only thing we can truly depend on is love. What? Men who say creepy things like that are worse than co-workers who won't stop talking to you. What was that fight all about? I should hear it from Kaito. Oma. Oh, trouble already? I knew this was gonna happen. Shirogane, are you at least sane or are you insane again? I don't understand why everyone's so mad. This is so the killing game won't happen and we'll have a peaceful life here. That's your perspective, Gonta. Hey. Student council has spoken. This decision is for everyone's sake. The decision of the student council. What does that mean? Is Kaito upset about it? Kibo. Listen closely. We're doing this to eradicate the killing game and bring peace to the school. You want that too, don't you, Shuichi? Mrs. Mage. Mm. The most important thing is peace in the academy. That's what we're working towards. This is for your guys' sakes too, you know. Okay. I Tenko, I can't believe I'm asking. What? Are you defying the student man. council? Don't make me throw you, Shuichi. What was that? Fuck your tour. Don't just act on your own without hearing our opinions, mainly mine. Angie! Why? Why is everyone so upset? I've already been granted permission by a tour. Oh, son of a... Um, Kaito, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Aw, oh, crap! Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Gonzo put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonza handle it this time. Um. Why would you do that? Because. Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Kaede. Listen up. You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about that underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Damn it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right! That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear a tour, after all. Ah. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Janes like her are total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you! Sumugi, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. God damn it. Oh, for the love of- God freaking- No, bad. Uh, <sighs> thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiles on you for your plain and simple service. Oh, it's 10, so I'm worried about screaming like this. Might wake my neighbor. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? What? Atua has whatever features you desire. Why are you describing Maki? A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. Are you describing Maki or Madara? When 
can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Jesus Christ. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Someone needs to kill Angie and soon. And not you, Maki. I need you alive. Oh, fuck. Precious! So cool. Atua's just so cool. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but... But, but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving this place? You. You haven't given up. Uh -huh. You haven't given up. Huh? What the hell's wrong with you guys? I see. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. W why? Tighten? Are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mew? What? Yes, yeah, so what if I was? Way. So it was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past night time. Hey! Shuichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, and technically you guys too. What, you're policing everything? Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says so. Atua is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at night time. Oh, how convenient! Huh? What? Stop it! What? What I do and where I do it is none of your fucking business. No? No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... Why is the student council exempt from your rules? This is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... No, I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. <laughs> That's right. Why would we need to go outside anyway? We just planted the seeds for next season's crops. And once they're finished, we'll smoke. I'm a mage. Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, a tour and a bong. Right? What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. <laughs> Everyone in the student council is so divine. Let's hang it from a street lamp. Always messing around. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me just to stay here and do nothing? Like hell I will, I haven't even gone to space yet. Uh oh. Are you all fighting? I don't think so, I think they're maybe not actually fighting. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. What are you here for? We're busy right now. You bastards. We want everyone we want you to get even closer with each other. That's wonderful. So we brought this. Oh, a flashback light? It's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory. And become better friends by taking by talking about it with each other plan. What? Wow, I've suffered way too much blows to the head to remember a plan named that long. Mm -hmm. Ah, let me see that. Ah, you took Suddenly, Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and... She needs to be killed. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. Monodam killer! The student council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. Killer! What? Why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Oh no, if you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. Hey. What are you gonna do, Monadam? Well, come on. Kill someone. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Oh. Hey, Monadam, wait. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Bye, Anara. Wait. Angie, what are you doing? Oh, dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral, the ultimate hunt. That's not right. There's no reason to remember at all. We're not returning to the outside world. Right. Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing Why around. Why you? You've gone way too far. 
Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry. Sorry, but you should take that up with a tour. Which means taking it up with you. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So do you have a plan for the you-know-what? Ah. You mean the resurrection ritual? Oh, we have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just the necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? A necessary precaution? Uh... Hmm. What if we get another time limit motive like the one that got Rantaro killed? Oh, yeah! Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Fuck. Uh, you mean um... if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing game. Life cannot always be fun and smiles. A tour must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But, but... We must submit to a tour's will if we're to live a peaceful school life, which means submitting to your will, which means we should hang you up by a street lamp! Yes. A tour will is absolute. Yeah. If a tour says so, then there's nothing more we can do about it. Uh... Yeah, just like a tour says. I will kill you all. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing's a motive for the killing game? Kaito, what's going on with you? You're looking worse and worse. I hope he's not dying. Yup, yup. That motive is of no concern to us, as long as you cast aside your desires to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? What? What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... Hmm, after discussing the matter with the tour, the transfer student we will revive is... Says Rantaro so. Amami. Huh? Rantaro? Because. Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Kaede and Kurumi. Nor criminals like Ryoma, who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video. Which leaves Rantaro as the only one who would be of use to the student council. And he's the only one that doesn't know his talent because he got something else about the ultimate hunt instead. Which means if they resurrect him, we'll get more memories. Go on, resurrect him. True, Rentaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. You're going to bring him back? Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? No, this is impossible. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna happen. He's dead. Kaida killed him. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Prayer time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Uh. Yeah, you're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua on my knees. Well, well then, let's go. <laughs> Ayonara. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. And it looks like we have our own group here. We're split down the middle like a sandwich. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out a tour's will. But this is her will, isn't it? Well, you're the one that's a member of a cult, you tell me. However... Even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey! Then it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. <laughs> also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's just have her kill them nice and quick. No. Ah, uh, no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great, but I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end us peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaito? You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. What the hell is happening to him? Huh? Oh, you say something? No. Ooh, someone was zoning out. He's dying. Kaito, something doesn't seem right. Um, Kaito, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Hmm? It's nothing. I just feel a chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? <sighs> anyway, there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Were you stabbed with something? There's no way. It's just not possible. <sighs> Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? Huh? My bad. Sorry, guys. My bad. I'm gonna go back to my room. Was he stabbed by something? Kaido left on unsteady feet to go back to his room. If it was poisoned, what, what was that about? Is he getting sick? 
We're just talking about all the occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. He seems to be enjoying this. Maybe he was poisoned. The rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. If it was poisoned and it's slow acting, it will still count as a murder. Shit. Angie told us to give up, but I have no intention of doing so. My goal is the same as Kaida's, to get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Oh, free time. Okay, I'm gonna go grab... Ooh, Kaito and Shirogane. Maki's in the library? Huh. Okay. Uh, we need to find Kaede's room. Where's Kaede's room? Where's Kaede's ultimate lab? Where's Kaede's ultimate lab? Should be on the second floor, right? Oh, there it is. Alright, should be in here. Let's just pick up the toy and decide what to do. I wonder who should we spend time with. We've got just about everyone done. Should we spend it with Kokichi? Oh my god, he's looking at him! Adorable. Adorable little bastard. So, how are we doing for free time events? Hmm. Hi, Tor. Done. Gonta. Done. We have three to go. Mark is done. I'm feeling Oma, to be honest. But first, I gotta save the game. Truth be told, uh, I'm not really that interested in doing free time. Just because I want to see where the story goes. But I'm very curious to see what's happening with Kaito. So I wouldn't actually mind, um... Just like doing like a random free time with him just to see the start of it. And then just continuing on with the story. Because I'm really interested in the story right now. And in the next video, we could do another free time thing where we do a free time with someone from beginning to end. So we've got that option. What's up with Kaito? Shuichi? Sorry man, these chills won't stop. I gotta rest. See ya. He's fucking dying. He's, f he's dying, literally. Let's see what Mark is doing. Is she researching an antidote? Okay, I finished beating the books like they owe me money. Mark, what's up? This is stupid. There's no way you can resurrect the That's dead. True. Mantaro definitely died. Kaede and Karubi died right before our very eyes. Uh, sure, let's just do a token so hangout. Well. Fine. I don't feel like doing anything in particular, so I'll let you decide. Oh wow, so sweet. Spent some time with Marky. <laughs> what the <coughs> hell? Why is my nose so full? Marky and I grew a little closer. No. I got nothing to give up. Why is my nose so full? There's still time until light time. I've got no one to spend it with. I'll just go in my bed. Yes. And progress the story. We'll do a free time episode next time. It's the first time I've done that, but why not? This is just weird. Anyway, I suppose it's night time. And you established a curfew at night time. I wonder what will happen That's to training. That's true. I should go to see what Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Yeah. You want me money? Give me. Let's see what happens. We should all band together. Kaito, please don't be dead, bro. I wonder if Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling better. Right as I was about to ring the bell. Huh? The door to Kaito's room opened, and out came... Oh, shit! Ah, oh. oh, Maki, you're either looking after him, or... I know, you've developed empathy. 
You care for a living creature, like a puppy. Nice girl. Is she mad? Okay. Oh, hey bro, perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you two. Well... He told me he was gonna skip today's training too. I knew it. So he still doesn't feel well. Do we want to check out that stab wound that he's talking about? My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaida. Do what you have to do. Nah. We have to reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. The student council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well... I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really, but... No. I don't want to skip it, so I'll just be the two of us. Wait, what? I don't want to skip it, so it'll be just the two of us today. Huh? What, really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Oh, shit! Huh? Die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. Damn! I like... I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. I finally started to think about how I can confront it. Okay. So if I have to train alone, so be it. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Shuichi, I'm sorry, but can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaito. Fuck, man, he might actually die. I nodded firmly and then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. I don't want this bastard to die. Like, seriously. Did he get stabbed? Did he get poisoned? What's up, Maki? Hey. Maki, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not... Uh-oh. My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Uh, Maki? Just hand over the chocolate and walk away slowly. But her glare wasn't aimed at me, it was right past me. It's those five, isn't it? Such intense hostility, coming from an Aikido master. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out from just that glare. Huh? Tenko? I put my money on Maki. I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you, and I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right! That's right, Marky. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Uh, um... A favor from us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um... Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? Well, this is an interesting development, isn't it? I've got two... Oh, of course I picked Marky. Why is the left click not working half the time? Wow. Come on, Spike. You're not brainwashed. Does that mean you'll willingly join the student council? That sounds worse. Or maybe she can give us dirt on them, tell us about their movements and what they're planning ahead of time, and then, you know... Hey! Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No! I can never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? Listen up! I only believe in Aikido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too minded to be succumbed to Angie's brainwash. Then? So you just pretended to be brainwashed. Why would you do that? Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie's dangerous. That's right. The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. 
That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's a tour's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. And that's why you want me to kill her? Maki, no! Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. No! I won't deny that. I've wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. But going through with it is a different thing. So I want to solicit the services of a contract killer. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Do you realize who you're talking to? Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But... But the student council won't defy Angie and I can't stop her on my own. Please! So that's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us? Well, I obviously can't ask Akichi, Mew, or Kyo, and Kaito's not feeling well, you know? That's true. I see, you didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is true. Please! So please help me. You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. Or, you know, we can always steal the book. I'm begging you. Tenko bowed down as deep as she could. Holy shit! Well... Well then, let's go. Huh? What? We didn't even answer yet. Ugh, Quick degenerate compl males! Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. That's not the best thing to say to someone you need a favor from. You... You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way... So what will you do, Shuichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. Is it something I'd ignore? What do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko and that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey, degenerate male. Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Sneak attack. I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie together. With a knife! She should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. Huh? Together, I'm going to? Huh. Of course. Shotgun on the M4A1 with silencer. I wouldn't ask just Shuichi for help. I agree to help, and this is how you treat me? Ah oh, well, I'll go to Angie's lab. I'm just gonna go to uh, Maki's lab first to pick up some, uh, <clears throat> you know, things. Hmm, wait a minute. What's he doing there? What is this little kid doing here? You want to come with me? Well, this is an unusual group of people. Tenko's a student council member, so I get why she's here. But Shuichi, Maki, are you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime, and it almost sounds like you're walking into a trap where you're going to be sacrificed. <gasps> huh? I was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours, and then I got, then I caught these two roaming around. I... Yep, I'm just doing my job as student council member, since I'm on the student council. Tenko, if you act this enthusiastic, you come across as suspicious. I'm ready! Kokichi, go back to your room and sleep. Mm. Oh, I see you take your job very seriously. But you shouldn't lie. What? <laughs> lie down on the job, that is. <laughs> well, good night. Do you think he could tell? Like Who knows, it's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, let's hurry. Angie's in a lab, right? Can I bring a rocket launcher in case, you know, they try to close us in something? Let's see, rocket launcher. Oh, yes! Well, give me a moment. I'ma just uh, go in here and uh, grab a few supplies. Well... That's my lab. Are you planning to take a weapon for a little persuasion? Oh, honey, you knew what I was thinking. What? What are you looking at? Shuichi, I want you to stop her with words, not violence. Oh, come on. Huh. Do I really have to explain this to you? You really are a brainless degenerate. You racist bitch. Is this because I'm Slavic? If I wanted her to stop by force, I'd do it myself, not ask a man for help. 
so you would use force. Listen up. Anyway, no weapons. Let's go, Shuichi. I have a feeling this is a trap. I would not go up there without a rocket launcher and a assault rifle and possibly a cheese grater and a bottle of vinegar. Oh, fuck. I forgot this place is fucked. Hell no, I wouldn't go up here without an assault rifle. Fuck that for a joke, and I'm not going through that door, I'm going through this door. Oh, Shuichi, not that way. Huh? What, isn't Angie in here? Um, yeah, but we should go in through the front door. What? Why? Listen up. I'm gonna challenge Angie to make us stop. So I need to face her head on from the front door, fair and square. So what? I really don't think it matters. Well. Well, if it'll make Tenko feel better, okay, okay. fine, do whatever you want. Okay, Maki, I want you to stand mm, here. I'll go in there, so we don't both go in there, because if it's a trap and I get caught, you can run downstairs, grab a shotgun, and blast your way through. All right. All right, it's right here. That's when I reach my hand towards the door. <gasps> Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Oh, that's right. Angie did say she locks the room when she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. Marky pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Why would you pound on the door? Just do a back kick on her. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Back kick. Hey. Wait, Marky, you can't do it like that. Stop being little on Miss Impatient. Then how should I do it? Um, Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh. Tenko! Yes! Yes, it's me. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Can I help you? Huh? Why is Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um... Um... Oh! Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Give me a cheese grater and a bottle of vinegar and she'll be screaming for mercy. A tour can't help her now! Then you'll need to get acquainted with the tour. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please come in. No. Oh, uh, no, it's not that. Well... Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well, well I suppose... Let's talk to her in her environment of choice. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. Which I advise against, but... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. What were we about to see? She's making clay dolls to create a vessel? Huh? Kaede and Rentaro, Kirumi, Ryoma. The left click is busted. I'm gonna tweet Spike Chunsoft again. Yoo-hoo! I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. I've watched that movie with Paris Hilton in it. It brought me joy because I got to watch Paris Hilton die. I rewinded that scene 20 times where she gets the spear through the head. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of Why? course! Why? For the resurrection with ritual, of course. Uh... According to the Necro Comic Con, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably would have been better, but once I got to work, a tour took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Are they amazing? You... You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? What? But... It's incredible. For a second I thought they were real. Yeah, just like the real thing, but... Uh... Okay, I cleared the room and I bit it like it owes me money. Why is my nose so full? The more I look at this, the more it looks like Rantaro. But actually... It, lo it really looks like Ryoma. But actually, it really looks like Kirubi. But actually, it looks exactly like I did. The face and body looks like the real thing. But actually, 
You don't say it's not real, right? What do you think, Marky? Well... You, you try persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. But I know Marky isn't very good at persuading people, so it's up to me. Tenko? The fact that Angie could do things like this without a care is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop Angie. Angie, let's have a talk over a car battery. Hey. Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that there was this... Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigy. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kirumi, Rantaro, and Kaeda are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me. I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous, mi miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm, but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. So, if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> that must be right, because Atua is never wrong. Um... You're not gonna stop this, are you? Of course, of, of course. Of course not. This is Atua's will. Hey. This is your will, not Atua's. Nope. It's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. But if we do the ritual and they don't come back to life, does that mean Atua was wrong? We'll get punished. Or we'll get punished, you know? Uh... You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has, Atua spoken. has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Because even if it doesn't work, she'll just blame that there's people in the school that are planning on escaping, which is why it failed, and then we should be eradicated. Uh... We're done talking now, because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll tell you into a wax effigy. Hey! Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we need another plan. Yes. Okay. After failing to persuade Angie, we re reluctantly left the lab. I still say we should have got a rocket launcher. Yeah! It's already night time, so please be careful as you head back to your room. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Huh? But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know? Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. Yes. yes. What's going on? Oh, crap. Why are Suichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's night time. Himiko! Himiko! It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah! Yeah? She betrayed us? Uh... That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then I don't have to worry about flushing the drugs? Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. <sighs> Stop it. You're making me blush. Cut it out already! Enough already! Tenko walked towards Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah? yeah? I said no means no, Bill Cosby. Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? <sighs> that hurts, Bill Cosby. Let me go. <sighs> Himiko! Can't you see that you've been brainwashed? If you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What did you say about my powers? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Himiko! 
Get mad, get upset, yell at me, just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um... Tenko, just leave it be for now. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bayonara. Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Yumiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to our dorms. Um. Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> I said all those horrible things to Himiko and now I don't know what to do. I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a friend. Huh? You guys were best friends? No. Well, if you round up the nearest whole number, we are basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well, Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Whoa, that was a quick turnaround. Hmm. You should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake! Don't worry, I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. I guess I don't didn't need to worry. Oh. oh, you were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Is it weird for me to have empathy? Is it weird for me to be human? You wanna die? Do you wanna die? Holy shit! Bitch, I love you. Huh? Huh? There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the positive side, she'll be able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I think... I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Do we have a car battery somewhere around here? And a pair of spark plugs? Maki hurried back to her room. Hmm. So Maki's gonna think about it too. I didn't expect that. We don't need a car battery, we just need a, you know, a towel or a hand cloth and a bottle of water. I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. This could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Oh wow, look at him, it's Monodam now. What the hell? We got an E.T. thing going. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school, but the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons because of my odor and because of how I would flop around on my desk and because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. Don't make me cry, Monodam, you bastard. I hate bullies too. Ooh, shivers down my spine, Monokuma, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, I get it, you're, you're balding and shit. Huh? The intercom, the early in the morning. I wonder who it could be. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit like, hit me up in the comment section, and make, your, make sure you're subscribed with the little bell button. And also do me a favor, get your ass on the Twitch and follow it. Because as soon as live stream starts, chances are we're going to be there. So make sure you're following the Twitch. Link is in the description below. Possibly also in the comment section. And it's also in on the homepage of the channel. It's got the little Twitch icon. And also check out the reaction channel. Anyways, till next time, Nijikuma out. Bye. Hey. Hey, do your robots have to... And there we go. There we go. No, they don't. They have a USB port. Hey. That smile and hair reminds me of something. 
She's like Oscar, but with less reddish hair. 